Are you sick of lag spikes and high ping ruining your Fortnite matches? In this video, I'll break down exactly what ping is and show you ways that will actually lower your ping in Fortnite for completely free. No BS, just real solutions that work. Before we lower your ping, let's quickly break down what it actually is. Ping is the time it takes for your device to send data to the game server and get a response, measured in milliseconds. Think of it like sending a text to a friend and waiting for their reply. The lower your ping, the faster their response, and the smoother your game feels. Low ping under 30 milliseconds means instant reactions, while high ping 100 milliseconds plus causes delay, making your shots and builds feel laggy and delayed. Now that you know what ping is, let's fix it. Now that you know what ping is, let's get into the real reason why you're here, how to actually lower it. Most guides throw random tips at you, but today, I'm giving you only the methods that actually work. Let's start with quick and easy ways to improve your connection. Tip number one. Use a wired connection. Instead of relying on Wi-Fi, especially if you're gaming completely, a wired connection is key. Wi-Fi can introduce tons of issues like high ping, jittering, and packet loss. Connecting an Ethernet cable gives you a faster and more stable connection. If you can't connect using Ethernet, a Wi-Fi extender with an Ethernet port can be a great alternative. Plug the extender near your setup and not too far from your router. Then plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the extender's Ethernet port and the other into your PC or console. Avoid cheap extenders. Look for dual band extenders with low latency modes for gaming, like the one I have on screen. Make sure you're connected to the 5 GHz band instead of 2.4 GHz, as it offers faster speeds, lower latency, and a more stable connection for gaming. Tip number two close background apps. Apps like Discord, Google Chrome, or Game Updates use up bandwidth, which makes your ping higher. Close anything you don't need while gaming. On the bottom right of your taskbar, click on the system tray arrow. Then, right-click on these applications and select Exit or Quit to close them. Tip number three, remove other devices. Multiple devices on the same network can compete for bandwidth. Disconnecting unused devices can help improve your ping. Tip number four, disable notifications. Open settings, then system, then notifications, and disable notifications to prevent lag spikes while you're playing. Go down to additional settings and uncheck all three of these options. Now, let's talk about something called buffer bloat. You might have or have not heard about it yet. But in short, it's the latency increase when you're downloading or uploading something to the internet. Usually, your ping will skyrocket to 200 or more. But wait, how can I see my buffer bloat? You can test your buffer bloat right now by searching for waveform buffer bloat test on Google. Then, scroll down and click start test and wait for it to finish. If your buffer bloat grade is a B or lower and want to improve it, the most simple way would be to go to the search menu, type command prompt in the bar, and run it as an administrator. Once you're there, copy and paste the following command, which I'm going to paste in the video description. This will reduce your buffer bloat significantly, but it will also limit your bandwidth in order to do so. Now, let's do some network optimizations. Just a reminder, always create a restore point before trying out new tweets, because if you run into issues, you can easily revert all changes to your system. Let's now optimize your Ethernet settings by pressing the Windows key and typing in Device Manager and open it. Once opened under Network Adapters, find your Ethernet connection, right-click on it, and click Properties. Now click on the Power Management tab. Inside this section, uncheck Allow this device to wake the computer, as well as uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device. Then, head over to the Advanced tab. Here, we'll disable any energy-saving settings and offloading features. Everyone has a different Ethernet adapters, so if you don't have some of my settings, it's because of that. Disable the following, ARP offload, energy efficient Ethernet, advanced EEE, gigabit light, green Ethernet, power saving mode, NS offload, IPv4 checksum offload. Finally, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see a setting called wake on magic pattern. Go ahead and disable that, along with the one below it. Once you're done changing your Ethernet settings, click OK to save the settings. After optimizing your Ethernet settings, we can now change your power plan. Press the Windows key and search to choose a power plan. When this window opens, you will see a list of plans. By default, it will be set to balanced, but you should change this to high performance or ultimate performance. This uses more of your PC's power and results in an FPS boost. Click apply and OK. This next tweak will help your ping from fluctuating too much. Open the Epic Games Launcher. Go to Library. 
then hit the three dots and click Options. Enable pre-download streamed assets. This downloads all cosmetics to prevent FPS stutters and ping fluctuations during gameplay. If this wasn't checked, you were streaming all cosmetics, which you don't want because it can cause hitches in-game. Another thing you should absolutely do is disable startup apps. Open settings then go to apps on the left. Then startup. This is the list of all applications that open up when you boot your PC, which can cause Windows to take longer to load and affect performance in general. I know some of you might be annoyed because Discord and other apps are some of the first things that open when you turn on your PC, so I'm doing you a favor by preventing that. It'll help reduce your load time and ensure your system has more free resources for your games. Another helpful tip, contact your internet service provider. If your ping is consistently high, your internet provider might be the problem. Ask them about gaming-friendly plans or if there are better routing options available. My last for you guys is if you live geographically closer to your region's Fortnite server, you will have lower ping. So if you wonder why all the pros have zero ping, it's because they live really close to the servers. If you want to lower your input latency, watch this video here.